What's good, boxing heads and fight fans around the world? Be Marsh with another boxing video. So I read this article about the man um, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn says that um, the winner of Luis Ortiz versus Deontay Wilder in November, November fourth, Barclays Center, BKNY. The winner of that fight will get a shot at Anthony Joshua. All right, now we already know Anthony Joshua is fighting October twenty eighth. Wilder's fighting a week after, November 4th. Um, Eddie Hearn is picking Ortiz to lose, you know what I mean? Maybe he has um, a personal vendetta against the man um, Luis Ortiz, all being that he had him over there in England for two fights, you know what I'm saying? Fighting um, David Allen and Malik Scott, and they, what he was promised, they never, you know, they promised Luis Ortiz his title shot, but, you know, they never... Um, went through with the whole fight, you know what I mean, they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't put the man on, Luis Ortiz, you know what I mean, they basically brought him out there to, on the road pie, you know, to build the man AJ's uh, profile, you know what I'm saying, but uh, with that being said, you know, the man Eddie Hearn says uh, the winner of that fight gets to fight um, Anthony Joshua, you know, but one thing that I did hear the man say, man, you know, and um you know, now I gotta call him out on that. He says that Anthony Joshua knocks out at um, Deontay Wilder inside three rounds. You know what I mean? Now, if he knocks him out inside three rounds, why don't you fight the man Deontay Wilder next? You know what I mean? Fuck all the mandatories. You know what I mean? After after um, Deontay Wilder, if Deontay Wilder does so happen to get through with Luis, Luis Ortiz. Believe you me, Eddie Hearn and them are banking on, they're hoping Luis Ortiz can cause the upset, you know what I mean? Because they feel, um, you know, from the outside looking in, I think they feel Deontay Wilder is a more difficult fight for AJ. But if they can knock out the man Deontay Wilder inside three rounds, you know what I'm saying? Why not get it over with, you know? If you check it, as you see, all these people be talking about what they're gonna do. You check it, they all just talk and they talk about what they're gonna do. But you know, they don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Say what you mean, mean what you say. And you know, I think if the man can knock out at Deontay Wilder in three rounds, well, let's see let's see you do it, you know what I mean? Let's not pro prolong or, or procrastinate the inevitable, you know what I mean? But I doubt they fight the man Deontay Wilder next. What do we that fight these guys' fights will be happening in November. So no 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 later than June should they be fighting. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, let's say, May, springtime. Uh, you know, let's say, just say June. You check it. Give them fellas a whole December to chill out. Go enjoy their family. Enjoy the Christmas break. And then, um, you know, then go ahead and fight the man um, Deontay Wilder in the summertime. But I doubt they do that. I doubt that. I think Anthony Joshua and them will probably go on and um, try to fight the man um, Anthony, oh, what's his name, Joseph Parker, you know what I mean, Joseph Parker really didn't look good in his last fight, you know what I mean, it was a very boring fight, Eddie Hearn has also acknowledged that, you know what I'm saying, but for their buck, or for their pound, Anthony, I'm sorry, jo Joseph Parker makes more sense, you know what I mean, bring him back to the UK, more than likely AJ will beat him, then we shall see that unification, hopefully, between Wilder and Anthony Joshua, you know what I mean? Um, probably late December, you know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, if the man says he could knock him out right now inside three rounds, then why not go ahead and do it, you know? That's the thing I be talking about. Fellas say they could do this and that, and you know what I'm saying? They just talking. It's a, diff it's a difference from talking and doing, you know what I mean? You got to lead by example, show and prove. That's just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? That's the order of the day is in boxing and in life, you know what I mean? You check it, you know, them, there's some people who always talk about what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that. But they never really about that, you know what I'm saying? They're just talking, you know. So Eddie Hearn, in my opinion, he's just talking. He's just trying to rile up his, his, um, his uh, UK crowd, you know what I'm saying? And his, um, the Anthony Joshua fans to gas him up. Which is all well and fine, you know. But don't say you're going to knock out the man at the, um, Deontay Wilder inside three rounds. And you're not even looking to fight him probably till another 13, 14 months. That's what the fuck, that's what I'm talking about. He ain't going to fight him for another 13, 14 months, you know. And 
you know, he's just gassing up, you know, Anthony Joshua. But Deontay Wilder, you know, Deontay Wilder needs to stay focused. He needs to um, not look ahead, you know what I'm saying? Do not overlook your opponent, Luis Ortiz, you know what I mean? The Cuban Southpaw is a hard hit, a very crafty, a guy who can um, upset the apple cart, you know what I mean? And Deontay Wilder, man, you got a whole of the United States of America on your back. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you're known all over the country or if you're not. For those in the know, Deontay Wilder is a champion, world champ. He's the only American heavyweight. Oh, my gosh. And if this guy loses to Luis Ortiz, whoo, we're going to be in a sunken place, man. I ain't going to lie, man. It's going to be back to them 12, 12 years where we ain't have no American champion in the United States during the Klitschko era besides fellas like, uh, um... Fucking um, what's the guy's name? Shannon Briggs and and um the other guy who knocked out Klitschko. What's his name? Lamont Brewster. You know what I mean? Those would be the only representatives that we've had ever since Wilder. And you know th that's slim pickings right there. And if Wilder gets KO by Ortiz or stopped or beat on point, whoo! American heavyweight scene. All Americans might as well just relocate to motherfucking Europe heavyweight contenders or prospects if Deontay Wilder loses, you know what I mean? Gerald Miller, all these fellas, man, because there ain't going to be no money for no heavyweights in the United States. Y'all fellas better relocate. B-Marsh Boxing just calling out the man Eddie Hearn. If your man can knock out Wilder in three rounds, go ahead and do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. I'm gone.